Hi, so my neighbours, awesome people, but they're leaving. And as part of their leaving, they're rationalising, which means they're throwing stuff away, and they came and saw me with this thing. It's a rowing machine. Now, I've never had a rowing machine before, because I haven't seen one thrown out, and I'm not going to buy one. But they gave me this, so I thought I'd take it apart, have a look at it, and see what we could do with it. Now, the gubbins, the heart of it, if you like, is right in this section here. This is clearly just something slides backwards and forwards, feet go in here, and you give a good tug on that handle. So let's get this cover off and have a look and see what's inside there. So here's the left-hand side with the covers removed. That's clearly a flywheel. There's a tension adjustment here going to the back of the flywheel, so I'm guessing some kind of magnet arrangement, maybe? That's the pull strap that's attached to the handlebars there. Comes behind there, we'll have a look again. Operates this large pulley with a belt on it. There's a belt tensioner going to the small pulley, so that's where we get our gear um, ratio, right there. And then if we have a look at the other side, that's where the pull strap comes onto here. That seems to be spring loaded. So you pull the pull strap and a spring returns it. And then we've got this weird thing here, which looks like some kind of savonius sort of device. I'm guessing to capture a bit of air resistance, but awesomely made. Now I want to leave this thing basically as a whole because most of that mechanism is usable. And we're going to remove this and we're going to remove the flywheel. To remove this is actually just a couple of central bolts on it. There's a central bolt right there. There you go. And the same on the other side. Okay, so that was easy enough. We've taken this weird uh, Savonius rotor off of one side, and then off the other side, we took off the flywheel, which is right here. And then I was right on the inside of that flywheel was this thing, which is an arrangement of magnets. You twist that down, the magnets go further out, and that's what creates the resistance in the device. So that's as much pulling apart that I want to do with this. Okay, I did next to nothing to this. I put the flywheel back on, minus its magnets, and on the back you can see I've glued a yellow acrylic disc. That's because I made a fan belt out of this stuff. It's latex rubber tubing, you can see it right there. And I want to stop it jumping down, it has a tendency to travel in that way, so I glued a disc on to stop it jumping down. So we've got a fan belt, and that fan belt's attached here to this little motor, which is just that, it's a slightly larger size of that. It's a permanent magnet DC motor, it came off a window winder, so that's what's jammed in there. It's literally just jammed in the cross base with a bit of wood holding it in, pig in place. If this does anything, I'd have to arrange something a bit more permanent, like a nice fan belt, maybe put some teeth onto this, and so that we can have this nicely engaged. But right now we're just testing it, so let's put the feet back on and see what it does. Huh. I don't know if you're seeing that, that's half an amp. Let me put it onto volts. Okay, I've got it on volts, let's spin it up and give it a go. That's a mess. That was 33 volts at half an amp from that thing. That is an astonishing result. Now, I did this as a Sunday project. You know, it's taken me a couple of hours on a Sunday afternoon. So it is a bit lashed together. You know, the motor's jammed in with a bit of wood. <laughs> We've got an elastic band as our fan belt. But given that result, that's well worth spending a bit more time on. Now, I could put the covers back on, but I'm probably not going to go and do that because I like to see things work. But I am going to replace that with the proper fan belt, I think, because half an amp, 30 volts, that's knock your socks off stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the project, and thank you very much for watching.